Squad. Today, we're going to be creating comics with Keen. So bring your pencils, paper, and imagination. Hi, I'm Keen Sue. I'm a cartoonist. And today we're going to talk about creating stories for our characters. So when I'm drawing characters for the first time, I'm sort of thinking about who they might be, where they're from, uh, what kind of job they might have. And as I'm drawing them, I'm sort of thinking about uh, these things as I'm working. And it sort of really starts with choosing the shapes that I'm using to build these characters out of. So, for example, um, if I was drawing two characters, but if I just choose two simple shapes, like these, for example, a square and an oval, just adding in simple details. So for the square, maybe just straight lines. Using straight lines, and for the oval, maybe some uh, rounder shapes. So lots of, a few more circles, having them sort of standing with their hands on their hips. We get a good sense of what these characters might be like, right? With the square character, with a lot of straight lines, we sort of get a sense that maybe this character is a little more stern or serious. And with a lot of round shapes, um, they seem happier or friendlier, right? And so these are sort of ideas that I sort of want to communicate to you when you're looking at these characters. Um, and. One of the other things that I uh, think about when I'm creating a character are the details that I'm adding to it. So, uh, in the case of uh, my dog, again, as using him as an example, uh, he's just this long tube. And I s think I'm going to draw him standing up. So it's just going to be a straight cylinder here. And I'll add in his snout. And we'll have him standing up, so we'll have his feet here. And he's got his triangular ears. So, uh, I can draw my dog Oliver standing up like this. But at the same time, I sort of want to add some more details to sort of give a sense of uh, who he is. And in this case, I sort of wanted to do something fun. So I was thinking maybe uh, something along the lines of a waiter. Um, and so I'm thinking about if he was a waiter, what would his outfit look like, right? So maybe he would have like a little bow tie and like a vest. Uh, I'm just going to add his tail in here, this big bushy tail. Um, and what else would a waiter have? So he's got the, he's got the vest, he's got the bow tie. Uh, sort of the only thing that would be missing is sort of food that he might be delivering, right? So I think in this case, maybe it'll be a hamburger and it's just this series of little ovals and I'll just sort of add some sesame seed buns and I'll be sitting on a plate that he'll be carrying. So I'll add his fingers here to sort of show that he's carrying this hamburger. So now I've got a dog that is a waiter. Um, but uh, I want to sort of want to add more details to it. So because he's a dog, he would be someone that would be really interested in eating the food he was serving, right? So one of the details I could add are sort of his eyebrows and sort of make him look like he's eyeing the hamburger that he wants to eat it. And so as I'm drawing them, as I'm drawing this character, I'm sort of thinking of the stories that might happen. Um, and so now that I'm thinking about it, like he wouldn't probably wouldn't get very far if there was a hamburger that he was sort of carrying out to a table that he's serving. So maybe he would actually eat the hamburger. So maybe the drawing wouldn't look so much like that, but rather a little more, maybe something like this. So we've got all the same details of his vest and his actual vest here. And I sort of want to just sort of keep that same pose. But this time, maybe he couldn't resist eating the hamburger. 
So he's actually maybe serving the plate of crumbs, but he actually has eaten the hamburger before it's gotten to the table. Here, we've got the dog, who's a waiter, but he's secretly eaten the food before he's able to deliver it. And so one of the things that I always like to do when I'm creating these characters is I just like to sort of jot down notes um, about who they are, what they might be. So in this case, uh, we have our character, Oliver. I sort of have the idea of Oliver the dog as uh, a waiter. He loves food and uh, maybe he's uh, maybe he's a waiter in training, right? So maybe he's going to the International Waiters School. And because he's sort of eating all the food, maybe he's just not very, he's not a very good student. And so we're creating stories with these characters, right? And this is almost like a little comic of its own. We've got our character here who's sort of coming out with the uh, hamburger and he's sort of eyeing it and he's maybe feeling a little bit hungry and thinking about eating it and then even in the second image here we've got uh, our character who's enjoying uh, the hamburger that he's eaten that he's maybe stolen and uh, and that's sort of where the stories come out of from the characters themselves so we've got Oliver the dog He's a waiter, he loves food, and maybe he's going to school to become a waiter, but he's not doing very good right now. And so that's something that he's gonna learn and uh, get better at. And so this is something uh, that I want you to all think about. And so when I want you guys to sort of create your own characters, but also think about the stories and think about the details that you can add to these characters to sort of give them more life and uh, create your own stories with them. Uh, I think that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys have fun. I hope you keep creating characters and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks. Do you want to join the Art Squad? Be sure to follow and subscribe so you can see what the squad leaders have for you next.